and as you guys can see we are playing gta 4 on our android device let's get started yo what's up guys it's aptrix here yesterday i uploaded a video titled how i managed to run gta 5 on android using the win later 5.0 well in today's video we'll be talking about gta 4 because lot of you guys were asking how can i actually run gta 4 on the win later's 5.0 update so right here you can see we are running the latest build of win later android i'll be showing you guys the best settings including gameplay and much more so before starting if you guys are new here hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i upload similar videos on my channel with that being said let's begin first of all you'll need to set up win later 5.0 on your android device if you haven't done so i'll put a video on the icard above which talks about this brand new version anyways once you're done setting up the win later 5.0 let's head on over to the settings where we'll be using the same box 64 preset which we created in our gta 5 video well if you are new here then what you have to do is after going into setting just go ahead and tap on this plus button We'll be creating an preset for GTA 4 where uh, save flags will be set to 0. Make sure to turn both of these off and big block make sure to set it to 2. Once that has been done this is going to be our preset for box 64. Just go ahead and tap on the drop down menu and select the preset which we just created. Afterwards make sure to choose the turnip version as 24.0.0. Once that has been done let's tap on the tick mark option and we are done with the main settings of Winlater Android. The next step is going to be to create an container by tapping on the plus button. Once that has been done you will get an UI similar to this. So what you have to do is first of all in processor affinity make sure to uh, turn on 7 of the 8 processors uh, by tick marking the CPU 1 to CPU 7. Once that has been done make sure to choose the graphics driver as turnip plus zinc if you have an Adreno GPU Android device. If you have a device with Mali GPU then go with Virgil. Basically Adreno GPU are present in Snapdragon processor Android devices. In terms of DX wrapper just like GTA 5 video we will be going with DX VK 1.10.3. We will be using light theme and let's change the background color to this so there is no reflection. Anyways GPU name make sure to keep it as default as 9800 GT. Video memory size make sure to set it to 4 GP. This is also important. In DX components make sure to set direct 3D and direct sound as native windows. Afterwards let's go to the advanced section and here is the most important step. Uh, in box 64 preset make sure to choose the latest preset which we just created. I have already chose it and tick mark the stop system uh, stop services on startup option. Afterwards just go ahead and tick mark it and now we have successfully created our container. If you have created a new container specifically for GTA, it will take around 1 to 2 minutes for the container to launch. If you are using a brand new container that is, but if you are editing your previous containers then the emulator should successfully start within few seconds like we see right here. The next step is going to be to go back and make sure to toggle full screen so you get the best experience. Now let me zoom in a little bit to show you guys uh, some of the settings which you need to do by clicking on the start option. Afterwards going into system tools. Tap on Wine Mono and let it set up for few minutes. Alright guys, once Wine Mono has been set up, let's go to the start options again because we'll need to set up uh, the Wine configuration and set the Windows version as Windows 7. So navigating this is a bit difficult. But once you open Wine configuration, make sure that Windows version is set to Windows 7. Alright, then tap on apply and afterwards tap on the OK button. The next step is to simply open the GTA 4 PC game which you have loaded on your Android device and afterwards I'll show you guys some of the major settings which you need to customize for better performance. When you open the game for the first time you will see a black screen for a few seconds so just don't panic. Wait until the game actually starts and at the top left side you will be able to see the FPS bar and our game should successfully start. Now what you have to do is just scroll back afterwards go to task manager and you'll notice that GTA 4 is running successfully so let's go back and as you guys can see we are playing GTA 4 on our Android device. So once your game actually starts the next step is going to be to go to options afterwards just scroll to the graphics section and make sure to turn down all the graphics settings for example the texture quality and every other setting will be set to medium graphics so let's go to input controls afterwards select the RTS option. Then make sure to turn everything to low. Once all the settings are set to low, just go ahead and tap on the space button and afterwards tap on enter to save the settings. Afterwards just go ahead and tap on the escape button and now we are back to the GTA 4 home screen. So guys that was how easy it is to actually set up GTA 4 on WinLater Android and the loading speed will depend according to your device specifications. So normally it takes around 2 to 3 minutes for the game to start and you might be able to hear that the audio output also works properly. So yeah guys that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.